Angel Yo here. Welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, I am Angel Yo. I'm a lifestyle blogger and I also make lifestyle videos. So if that's the content that you're interested in, please do click that subscribe button and the bell beside it just so you can get notified whenever I upload videos like this. So it's been um, a month, I think, since the last time I did a um, tutorial kind of video. So I thought of making one again for you guys because I think that's one of the things that you want to watch in my channel. I released a video already on how I edit my own photos using my presets. But this time, I want to share with you guys how I edit my photos from scratch. Meaning, I'm not going to use any presets. I'm going to share with you how to how I edit my photos using Adobe Lightroom. Basically, in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can use Lightroom and I'm going to try to explain as much as I can so that you would understand on how you can actually play around with Lightroom room and making your own look or creating your own kind of look. But guys, if you want to purchase my presets, it's still available. Link will be on the description box. If you want to watch how I edit my photos using my presets, link will be on the description box and also card up here. Anyway, I don't want to keep you waiting, so let's start. Again guys, this is just me trying to help you understand Adobe Lightroom and every photo will be edited differently because every photo is different, it has different lighting, it has different everything. So every photo is different. So the best thing to do is download Adobe Lightroom and try it for yourself. Here I have my iPad, just some of my notes. So I won't forget to share something to you guys. First and foremost, you guys need to know that my photos are in RAW format, not in JPEG. Okay, let's head on to editing. So we're gonna edit this photo of mine. Um, first, let's start with the light. So basically, light, it's light. For this photo, it's a bit dark. So let's higher the exposure. And if you do follow me on my Instagram, you would know that I like bright and colorful, pastely photos, yet still contrast. I want it bright and colorful because I want something that's very um, uplifting. When the person looks at my photos, I want it to be uplifting. So exposure will be higher, of course shadows a bit higher, um, sh blacks a bit higher as well, and then um, highlights, I'm going to lower the highlights a bit because there's a lot of bright lights on this photo which is the sky. Okay, for the light, I'm going to keep it on this one, so basically it's just the basics, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. So let's head on to curves. Curves is actually uh, a bit tricky, so whenever I edit curves, I make sure that I'm very careful because this can change the look of your photo so much. So here, there's a square, so like there's a vertical, I'm just gonna explain it, like there's a vertical line and there's a horizontal line, but on the lower left, this is actually the shadows. So if you lift the shadows up, it's gonna be more faded, so some people like it super faded and then if you want that look, then you can hire the shadows. And then for me, I just put it a bit higher, like super, super small. Long. And then the middle is the midtones. So like a bit higher there. So I want my photo to be more bright. And here up here is the highlights. So the bright colors. If you want to lower the highlights, then put it down. If you want to higher the highlights, then up. So for me, I'm gonna put it a bit lower and I'm just gonna play around the curve. So basically, the next three graphs are very similar to the first one, except that this is more isolated in a specific color. So for this one, basically, if you want to play around with the hue of the shadows or the midtones of or the highlights of your photo, so I'm just going to show you an example. Example for this photo, it's a bit bluish, I think. So I want to add more red, so it's going to look more warm. So let's go to the midtones, which is in the middle, and lift it a bit there. If you drag it really high, it's going to make it super red and low it's gonna make it like green blue so our goal here is my goal here is to make it a bit um, the bit don't to be a bit pinkish 
the right side is the highlights and the left side is the shadows so um, there so let's head on to the green it's the same thing you can play around with it uh, for me it's really different every photo it can't be the same in every photo I promise so you really have to play around with it and really learn it and the best way to learn this is download Adobe Lightroom um, yeah so I'm gonna low and the blues I'm gonna lower the highlights of the blues because I, the color of the photo is bluish so I want to lower the highlights so now I'm gonna show you a before and after just by um, touching the light and the and the curves so here's the before and here's the after so that's what I'm saying that curves can change so much basically the whole look of your photo so next I'm gonna head on to the color section so this basically is um, somewhere that you can play around with the whole color of your photo so example you took a photo in a fluorescent light which is so yellowish so then you drag the temperature all the way to the blue side so it will like um, normalize the color for this photo it's a bit bluish I want to make it more warmer so I'm gonna put a bit of the yellow and let's see it's a bit green is it a bit greenish so, put, um... so there and then vibrance and saturation is vibrance is how vibrant the color is there so I like to put a bit of vibrance because again I want the colors to pop and the saturation you can higher or lower it for me I keep it as it is for this photo so let's move on to the mix. For the mix section, this is where you can specifically edit each color, like the hue, the saturation, the luminance of each color. So let's say the red. Red usually um, your dips is red or on this photo, um, the flower on my pants is red. So anything that's red on the photo for Adobe Lightroom will change. So the hue, as you can see, if I change it, it's going to be like more pinkish. And the other side it's more um, orangey so yeah so you can play it around here for me um, I feel like there's so much red so I'm gonna lower the saturation a bit and higher the luminance meaning the brightness of the shape there so next is orange it's usually the skin so um, for this one I think I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna lower the saturation a bit it's really up to you if you want it like more green or more red I don't know but yeah and the next one is yellow um, yellow I usually um, move the hue to the left because I want it next is the green so for me guys if you follow me on Instagram I like my greens to be more um, yellowish I put the hue on the left and saturation high luminance high because the trees on this photo is a bit dark so I have to full blast the luminance so basically guys this is where you can actually dictate what kind of shade of blue shade of green you want that will actually help you to have a un more unified color on your Instagram feed if I'm making sense so like for me I have one kind or one shade of blue on my Instagram feed and I have one shade of green on my feed so it's more um, unified or uniform or more aesthetically pleasing as we call it so this is the trick so this is where you can do that so with blues mostly blues and greens because it's the sky and the trees so with the blues, um, I usually just play around with the blues here and find that specific shade of blue that I want on my feed and same with the green. So yeah, basically um, you just really have to play around with every shade here. So let's head on to the next one which is the effects. So here, um, it's just basically texture, clarity, dehaze, vignette. Um, texture is basically if you want it more soft or you want it more sharp I don't touch anything clarity depends if my photo is a bit blurry I add clarity but for this one my photo is perfect so I don't put clarity anymore the haze basically is if your photo is a bit hazy then you dehaze it vignette there so this is a vignette I won't touch anything here for this photo 
split toning, um, not necessary, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I um, play with split toning. I just always use highlights, I just put a bit of pink. Let's say 300 and saturation is 3. Sometimes it doesn't even have, like sometimes I don't even know if it did something but I just want it there to make sure that you know, there's a touch of pink because if you again follow me on Instagram you would know that it's a bit pinkish fastly and stuff like that. Next one is details. So this is basically sharpening, noise reduction, smoothness and details so that's already up to you. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So I'm just, so now I'm just playing around with the color because I feel like my face is too red or it's too pinkish. So I'm just gonna try to fix this. So there, I think um, this is already good for me. So I'm gonna show you the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. So that's it guys. So I'm gonna edit one more photo for you guys that's, that has more blues so we can play around with blues this time. So let's edit this photo this time. So again, let's go to light. I'm just gonna hire exposure because it's dark, shadows higher, uh, blacks higher. Tip guys, um, if you shoot, I'd rather have it underexposed than overexposed because for underexposed with raw files, you can actually um, hire the shadows or something. So just play around here and then I go to curves. Just play around with the curves again. Um, it's really up to you how you want it, but for me again, I want it contrasty, pastel -y contrast and bright. There. Um, I'm gonna lower the highlights more because this, the clouds is too overexposed and the whites. And then after, I think this is fine. I'm gonna go to color. So the color is actually perfect, but for me again, I want it a bit more warm, a bit, a bit more pinkish and warm. So I'm gonna drag the temperature to the yellow side and the tint on the pink side a bit. Higher the vibrance. And for the mix, this is where we can play around with the specific colors. So for the red one, I don't think I'm going to touch anything on the red. For the orange, this is basically what will be touched with the orange is the building or the fountain. So um, so I want the colors to pop, so I'm just going to hire the saturation. And yellows, so let's go to make it more pinkish. Saturation, luminance a bit higher, greens, I don't see any greens, but so I'm not gonna touch the greens. So now I'm gonna head on to the blue. So this is where it gets tricky when I have my pants and the water. It has two different kinds of blues. So for the light blue, um, I'm gonna look for that specific blue that I have on my feed. So I'm just gonna play around with it. Um, there, so I think this is the kind of blue that I want. And for the darker blue, I'm going to play around, play around with my pants. It really depends on you if you want to keep the color of your pants. Um, for me, I want to keep it the same, but I want to make it lighter. So there, I think this is better. And purple, I think I have a purple on my photo, so I'm just Gonna saturation pink. Um, yes, I do have pink, so I'm gonna brighten saturation higher. Okay. There. So next, let's head on to effects. Um, I'm gonna put a bit of split toning on the highlights. 300. So I'm gonna show you a before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Though I'm not yet that happy with this photo, so give me a few minutes. Just gonna fix something here. So I think I'm okay with this. This is the before and this is 
the items. So that's it guys. So guys, that's basically how I edit my Instagram photos using Adobe Lightroom without presets. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a <laughs> thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment on the comment section. So that's it guys for now. See you in my next one. Bye!